So we heard Valentina say she wants an immediate rematch. We just heard Alexa Grosso say she's up for that. Uh, is that what we should see, Anthony, in this division? I, I think we should see that that's what Valentina wants. Yeah. I think at this point in, in her career, as dominant as she was, uh, in the things that she's already done, I, I think Valentina Shevchenko gets what she wants. If she wants to sit back and hang out for a little while and, and, and figure it out, then I think that's what she should be allowed to do. I think if she wants to run it back next week, I think she should have that opportunity. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I was happy to see Grasso win it like that, but I was kind of hurt for Valentina because of the fact that she was so close to competing, uh, completing that belt. She had one ruby to go. Ha, that's she right. Had seven, yeah. She had seven. If she would have won today, uh. that would have been eight, and she would have completed the belt. But, I mean, who she, she, she definitely should get another rematch, but it, right. it, all, it all depends on where her mindset is at, right? You know, she had the, 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 the tough fight with Santos, and then now another tough fight with Grasso. She might need to take some time to decompress and kind of figure out out like where where she's really at you know because she travels around around a lot to travel and, and yeah. stuff to, to train so yeah. she might need to kind of like you know uh just kind of recalibrate where she's coming from and john that's a good point we as fight fans we want to run it back as soon as possible right. i would love to see this same card uh, released with stipe in place of gone in july and for valentina in that moment of course she wants it immediately right. once you have a little time to absorb everything and, and sort of plan what you really should do and speak to your camp what do you think is best for her yeah, no, it's a good question. I think if you're Manon Fior and Aaron Blanchfield and some of the other contenders out there, this is like the worst result because not only did you want to be the one to end the reign of Valentina Shevchenko, but now this could amount to an appreciable delay. Aaron Blanchfield's 23 years old, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I do believe that Rashad has hit on sort of an inconvenient truth, right? We've all put Valentina Shevchenko on this pedestal, rightfully so, insatiable appetite for mixed martial arts knowledge, always traveling the world, but... There's not a lot of normalcy to her life, and it might be time to maybe take a step back, assess, and see where maybe there was a misstep here or there. Yeah, let's give a little appreciation for what Valentina Shevchenko has done in this division. Before tonight, she was the longest reigning champion in the UFC. She had won nine in a row, all coming at flyweight, uh, and it was the second longest win streak in UFC women's history. So, again, appreciate what she did during that run, which makes what Alexa Grasso did even more impressive because she beat the great one of the greatest of all time in the history of UFC. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.